Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Rusty Guns. So today I've got several videos that I'm going to be doing, uh, but they, all, they won't all come up at the same time. But first off, like you saw in the title, we're going to be reviewing the Remington Scoremaster. And this is model 511, and it has a dash X on it. Not sure if that makes a difference, but it's model 511. Uh, they were manufactured between uh, 1939 and 1962. Uh, they did stop production of these guns during World War II. Um, so there's that. Uh, the gun weighs about five and three quarter pounds, I think is what it is. Uh, it's got walnut uh, furniture on it. Uh, the barrel length is roughly 25 inches. Um, and they, when they were when they first came out, they were made with uh, just six shot magazines. And then about 1952, they started offering 10 shot uh, mags to go with those guns. So. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the gun real quick, and then uh, we'll do some shooting with it. And uh, there's a little bit i got to explain with the gun too, but let me get the gun first. Okay, so here we go. Here's the gun. Like I said, walnut stock. Uh, it is a bolt action uh, 22. It has the safety lever right here. The magazine release is right here at the bottom. Right there. I haven't, I haven't checked yet, but I'm pretty sure this is only six shots. Uh, so it's a mag right there, almost like a little baby banana clip. <laughs> so it's in, just like that. So the person actually has a uh, Tasco scope on it. I don't know how well the gun is sighted in yet. Uh, so we'll take some test shots and see uh, if it, how accurate it is, and to find out where the shots are landing. I'm not going to adjust the scope at all because it's not my gun, it's not my scope, and I don't know if they have it set up a certain way. So all of that will remain the same. Uh, we're just gonna test fire it. Uh, after we get done test firing it and seeing where the shots are landing, we're gonna see if we can split a card with this. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, I got you guys set up right here by the target. Uh, you sh so hopefully you'll be able to see where they land and I'm gonna go step back to the gun and we'll crack off six shots. All right, so there we go. So let me move you in a little bit closer so you guys can see these. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Zoom in. There we go, so. One, two, three, four, five. I think that one's double. I think there's an extra one there. I don't see any anywhere else. So there must be a third one in that same hole. We got three there, and this is doubled up. So there might have been a, a another one that gone in the same 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 spot. But so it's pretty accurate. Uh, I'm kind of shooting unsupported at the time, so I expect there'd be a little bit of you know, leeway one way or the other. Maybe, maybe shoots just a tiny bit left, but like I said, it's not my gun, so I'm not going to adjust it in any way, shape, or form. So next up, we're gonna split a playing card. I'm gonna put the playing card in this piece of wood right here. So let me go get the card, I'll be right back. All right, there we go, we got our playing card set up. It's uh, four diamonds. I'll go back there and I'll uh, see if we can split this. Uh, I'm shooting it from uh, probably about 18 to 20 yards, somewhere around there. All right, let's see if we can split this card. All right, well, second shot was definitely a hit, but I don't think I split it. I think I caught it along the side because I wasn't lined up very well with it. And I'd be correct. I grazed it along the side hit right here and just skimmed along the side so let's try this again see if I can get a better line on it and split it all right we hit it a third time let's see if we split it and that is a split let me see if I can find the other half Weeds are so tall back here. There it is. And there's the other. There's the other half. So we got a good clean. Oh, 
So there's the other half. We got a good clean split on it that time. You can still see the bottom right here where it had that gap, but then we cut it straight across on the top. So good clean split. One card down. All right, so we had good clean split on that one. Uh, took that out and didn't use all the shots, of course. I only used three. Uh, completely missed on the first shot. Second shot wasn't wasn't lined up correctly, and so I caught the caught the side of the card too much. And then third shot, so there's my three. Uh, my third shot, we're able to get a good clean split. So. All in all, the gun functioned perfectly fine. I mean, you know, uh, this this gun's a little dirty, so uh, a good cleaning would probably make this bolt move a lot easier. But it's very easy to manipulate uh, when you're shooting this. It, it comes up and comes back really nice and easy. So I think a little bit of oil, cleaning this up a little bit, this bolt would be excellent. So. I, I really like it. Uh, the scope is, wasn't bad. Uh, for me, I was getting, it was, my head was a little too close. And so I was getting the dark circle all the way around. So I had to, I had to kind of move my head back a little farther. Uh, but, you know, it worked perfectly fine. It's a great little gun for taking out small game or something like that. So, great choice. Uh, uh, so these guns, I've seen them selling for, they probably run around 200 bucks. Uh, right now, you, they'll probably cost you a little bit more. They're, they're an older gun. Uh, but if they're in good working shape, they're, they're a really good shooter. Uh, I really like, I, I enjoyed shooting it. I really liked it. Um, it has the uh, little notches here for uh, putting on like your small 22 scopes, uh, your, your mounts for those. So it's already set up to go ahead and put a scope on top of that. And it's, uh, like I said, it's a great little gun. I, I actually like shooting this a lot. So uh, if you have one, congrats. If you don't have one and you see one, pick it up. It's definitely worth the money. All right. Thanks a lot for joining me, guys. Take care. I will see you next time because I've got a couple more videos to shoot today. And I want to get it done before it gets really hot out. Uh, take care, guys.